Okay, this is how to read a inch micrometer. Before we start talking about how to read a micrometer, especially an inch micrometer, we want to think in thousandths of an inch. So this is three decimal places. If we just always set our uh, thought process to three decimal places, we'll see that a micrometer will work pretty easily. This is the way that machinists think. So you're going to think of point zero zero one as one or one thousandth. Point zero two zero is twenty thousandths. Point nine would be nine hundred thousandths. A quarter of an inch, you would say, is two fifty. Point three seven five, think of that as seven hundred thirty five. So, how much is a thousandth of an inch anyway? I'll kind of some rules of thumb. If you're thinking of a piece of paper, that's about four of these point zero zero four or four thousandths. A quarter is about 70 thousandths, or point zero seven zero. A pencil, a normal wooden pencil, is about a quarter of an inch. Think of that as 250 thousandths. Point two five is a quarter of an inch. The reason a micrometer can be so accurate is based in the threads per inch. And you look at this example here, that there's a one inch measurement and there's 13 threads in that one inch measurement. So the threads per inch here would be 13. Besides threads per inch, uh, pitch is very important and pitch is the distance from the top of one thread to the top of the next thread. That means on, the, on this particular threaded uh, bolt or threaded component, if you turn what's threaded on it, whether it be a nut or a micrometer component, uh, if you turn it one revolution, it'll move the same distance as the pitch. Or to express it mathematically, P being pitch equals one over TPI or threads per inch. Before we start getting too carried away with the math, you have to know the parts of a micrometer especially the sleeve, if you see it at the top there, it is uh, a number line that's fixed to the micrometer frame. And the thimble, which rotates with the threads per inch of the micrometer, is also calibrated. It's calibrated in one thousandths of an inch, but we'll get to that later. The other uh, uh, components, uh, the spindle, th that moves with the thimble. The spindle and the thimble are connected to each other. And the anvil, of course, is the uh, does not move. It is fixed to the frame and what we're, whatever we are measuring goes between the spindle and the anvil. In this picture you can see a threaded portion of the micrometer that is fixed to the sleeve. And you can make out the threads in the uh, top there, or at the top, and they are threads of 40 threads per inch. You can, in this picture, you can see the thimble and the uh, other matching threads or mating threads, which are also at 40 threads per inch. So those are the external threads with the thimble and the internal threads with the sleeve, both at 40 threads per inch. You can see the two components uh, lined up, how they all go together. And you can see the uh, spindle on the end with the thimble all fixed together. And we're going to put the uh, spindle and thimble together with the sleeve and thread it into those uh, 40 threads per inch. Threads per inch means when we re rotate the thimble one revolution, we've, we've moved the spindle off the anvil or away from the anvil one fortieth of an inch, which is a fairly simple concept, but it allows us to be very accurate with a micrometer. But the Micrometer is a instrument to measure in thousands of an inch, accurate to one thousandths of an inch. 
So we have to convert that 1 40th into uh, thousandths of an inch and work with that. We've de developed a, a simple uh, algebraic uh, equation here to find x, which will be the thousandths of an inch that one revolution of a thimble will be. Using simple principles of algebra, we take the equation to see that 40x equals 1 times 1,000. So then we want to isolate x, so we divide each side by 40. Then we cancel what we can, and we find that x equals uh, 100 divided by 4 which calculates to 25. So x equal 25. So to recap, one turn of the thimble is 1 40th of an inch, or 25 thousandths of an inch. But it should be expressed in decimal places, three decimal places as was stated at the beginning of this exercise. So we do a little bit more math. We find that 0 0.025 inches is one turn or the same as the pitch or 0 0.025 with the inches sign. So here we have a picture of the, uh, of the sleeve and you'll see a number line on the sleeve. To the right is the thimble in the, in the darker color and you'll see numbers on that. I'll explain that in a minute. So we got 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and notches or divisions in between those numbers. What they represent is uh, the notches between the numbers is 25 thousandths of an inch, meaning when you turn it one revolution, one notch is exposed and two revolutions, two notches exposed. So when we go to four notches, that's uh, four 25 thousandths or 100 thousandths of an inch. So, and you can see the one there. So the two has got another four before we get to the two and three, four and so on. So the numbers count in hundreds of hundred thousandths of an inch. So that's fairly easy to understand. That is a true number line that matches the, the pitch. So one notch is exactly the same as the pitch. Now we look at the thimble, and you see those numbers are divisions on that, and there's 25 divisions on the thimble. And the thimble one revolution is 25,000, so we've notched it 25 into 25 divisions. So each one of those divisions is 1,000 of an inch. And that's how we get the accuracy to 1,000 of an inch, is the notches on the thimble. Now we've got the math behind us. Let's look at a video of a, an engineer explaining a micrometer. It does a very, very good job and uh, goes through the micrometer readings very thoroughly. So let's uh, listen to what he has to say. Up close. Uh, you'll notice that it's got some numbers across here and some tick marks. Now if an inch micrometer is reading from say 0 to 1 inch then this scale uh, is well they're tenths of an inch but this would be a half an inch so that's 0.5 or 0 0.500 this first main graduation here the first big division from 0 to 1 this is 0.1 so that's a tenth of an inch or if we're thinking in thousandths of an inch that's a hundred the next big mark is 200 or 0.2 so 0 0.200 but we'll say that is 200 and that will make it easy to keep the decimal place straight. Down here that's a half an inch, 0.5. Now if if this first mark is 0.1 or 100 half of that would be 50 or 0 0.050 so the halfway between 0 and 0 0.1 is 50 or 50 thousandths half of that distance would be a quarter. So if you're thinking in terms of thousandths, this would be a hundred, twenty-five, fifty, and then 
this mark would obviously be 75.075. The main scale, if we want to read these together, is 0.1. Somewhere out here, this would be 0.4 or 425. 0.425. Down here, can you guess what this would be? This would be 0 0.675 or 675 thousandths. Now, the other scale is the thimble scale, and you'll see that it starts at zero and goes from 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way around to 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and this would be the 25th. So, uh, these are thousandths of an inch. So if this says one, this is one thousandth, point zero zero one. Five would be point zero zero five. Seventeen is seventeen thousandths, point zero one seven. Now let's look at a reading on here. This mark that you see there, that tells us that we're at 0.3 and then 0 0.325, 0 0.350, and 0 0.375. So that mark represents 0.375. The reading from the thimble scale is zero. So we don't add anything to the 0.375, and so the reading is 0.375. Okay, so here I've taken the micrometer and I have moved it just a little bit back so we're just a little bit less than 0.375 and the question is what's the reading now well uh, we we're not reading from this mark anymore this mark is not actually showing even though you can kind of see it the fact is that if this mark were to show it would be a brand new mark and so the reading on the thimble scale would be a very small reading and as you can see we're reading 24 which is almost completely all the way around. So this is a very high number, so that means we're working off of the older mark, which would be this one. And that mark would read 0 .350. Now, we can uh, get the next decimal place by reading the thimble scale, and that will, this one remember, is reading in thousandths of an inch. So this is 20 thousandths, 21, 22, 23. This is 24 thousandths, so that's 0 0.024. So the reading of this micrometer is the 0 0.350 plus the 0 0.024. Think of it as adding 350 and 24. You get a reading of 0.374. Now, on this slide, we can see that we've gone past the zero mark. So we're working off of a brand new number. It's a, a, a brand new mark. It's going to be a small number since it's brand new. Uh, we've, we've moved from 0 0.3, 0 0.325, 0 0.350, 0 0.375, and to that we're going to add 0 0.001. So if I asked you what is 375 plus 1, you'd be able to tell me it's 376.